Meow. 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 Oh, meow. Sound like a dead cat, doesn't it? Unfreaking believable. Cats, right? Cats. No, I'm kidding. I ain't talking about no damn cats, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> talking about a big. No, no. Anyway, cat. The acronym cat. And a shout out goes out to Riot, part of Astronaut King's Entertainment. He didn't really help me with this video. What he did was gave me a great idea on an acronym, CAT. Cash Above Transactions. I love it. Cash Above Transactions. Because you know me, guys. Now, who of one of you, yeah, I'm talking to you, the one who's looking at me and like, here he goes again. He's talking about me. Yes. How many of you is just taking that little credit card of yours or that little debit card, little check card, and you're like, Bing, bing, bing. You, this is what you're doing. I urge you to take out cash instead of making thousands of transactions on your car. Give yourself a budget. Give yourself an allowance. Cash above transactions. Why is that? If you say, well, I'm cutting back my expenses and I need to give myself the amount of money that I'm going to spend during that week because once again, I'm a harp on it, guys. My four tiers of money, getting out of debt, budgeting your money, saving your money, and investing your money, and you and I always say, have some fun with your money, but not splurging, okay, on frivolous things throughout the week like expensive Starbucks coffees that cost you what? Anywhere from five to... $10 a day, you guys will get those freaking sandwiches. Them some good sandwiches. I like that pork sandwich, chorizo, chorizos. You know, I don't know how to pronounce those words. It's a really good sandwich. I don't eat them no more. Cash above transactions are really important because we forget how much money is in our bank accounts. We forget our credit limits. And when we in there charging up, we to be for a shirt, uh, groceries, paying for our car to be maintenance. It doesn't matter what it is. We are not connected to that card. But, but I assure you, I promise you, this is, this is the way you make a promise to yourself. You take out cash. You leave those cards at home. You leave those freaking cards at home. Those cars are dangerous, especially when you have two and three. I got a Macy's car. I got this car, and I got a discount with this car. I got an Old Navy car. I got all these cars. Leave those cars at home. Take out the money, and when that money's gone, it's for the week, so are you. You are done. When that money's done, you are done. It's no more time for spending. As long as your transportation's on point, now if you're taking public transportation, hopefully you got some sort of metro car, some flash pass, some tokens, transfers, whatever it is that you use, make sure that's set up already before you take this cash out. You take this cash out, then there's no more transactions. There's no more transactions with your bank card, with your check card, with your credit card, with anything else. That cash is meant for the week. That cash is meant for two weeks. There's no limit on this, guys. If you want to take out three to $500 and you can afford that and still do all the other things we talk about on this channel, then do so. Then do so. But do not use those cards, okay? Do not use those cards. Now, granted, I have said in the past, if you're going to use that credit card, if you're going to use that credit card, then pay it off at the end of the month. But even with that credit card, the only reason why I'm saying use the credit card is that those two revolving accounts helps to increase your credit score. But this is the thing. Hopefully, now, I'm really trying to find a bank and help me out, guys. You guys are just full of knowledge. Help me out. Leave it in the comment section and let me know of any credit card company that will allow you to limit your credit card. And this is not what I mean. Like, one of my credit cards, right, is like $16,000. That's my limit. I wish I had a set limiter, meaning that, yeah, my credit limit is 16 and it will stay there or raise when, you know, they say he can get a little better than 16,000. That's just one of my cards that I can lower it on my own accord, but 
the cap from the bank will always be 16 or if it grows 20, you know, whatever it is. But like, okay, you know what? I have a set limit amount of money I'm gonna spend on that car a month. Let me set it to a thousand, even though I can still set it for 2,000, 3,000 or 3,500, you, you get my drift. But the point is, if you know of any credit card like that, that is transparent, that is low interest, then let me know in the comment section because this would be a great tool for people to put a cap on their lives and not charge up their credit cards with all these transactions. But until then, if you know you don't have self-control, now you know you don't have self-control because some of us don't what? Have self-control. We don't have discipline when it comes to our money, when it comes to our credit. So this is what I want you to do. Put those credit cards down for now. Hopefully they're paid off and start using cash. Cat, cash above transactions. We have to use this in our life, guys. Use this acronym to remember that you're trying to do cash above transactions. Cash above transactions. Cash above transactions. Hopefully I said it enough times in order for you to get it. If you cannot limit your credit cards or you don't have any self-control or any self-discipline, I want you to use cash above transactions. This is Ross World where if we're not disciplined and we know it, we don't have self-control and we know it, a uh, cat, I'm out.